Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Faulty Poker and in today's video I actually have a brand new Gen Zero that I'm adding to the team here. I just picked up this guy for 2750 Jewel, number 686. He's going to be mine forever. He's an Archer, uh, Rare, Gen Zero, Gardener. And you might be thinking, oh that doesn't sound very great, right? Well, this guy has his R1 uh, for main class uh, aligned as an Archer as well. So that's going to give me a increased chance at summoning Dark Knights, and I'm excited to own this guy long term. All of my Gen Zeros that I own are R1 main class aligned. Uh, here we go, we have a Hired Thief from the market, 990 for 33 Jewel I believe it is. Yep, he's the most expensive Thief Hire, almost. Uh, he is a rare miner, so it's slightly, uh, I mean it's of course justified. Uh, I mean, I'm picking it because I think it's the most profitable option available. Uh, 93 Jewel to summon here. Let's get it going. I want to make sure that that transaction's going through and then... Okay, let's go over to our summoning chances here. As you can see, we have a 17.58% chance at getting a Gen 1 5 out of 5 Dark Knight. That's very exciting. Uh, we have a 2% chance at a warrior. I only mention that because of our chance at mining that we're going to have. 49% uh, chance at archer, 28% chance at thief. Either of those would be significant if I got mining on them as well. Uh, we have a 37% chance at mining, 39% chance at gardening. Hoping not to see gardening, of course, but uh, it's our most likely profession. We have a 9% chance at fishing, 14% chance at foraging. So uh, this being our most likely profession doesn't scare me whatsoever. I'm not here uh, worried about any individual summon attempt. Uh, I look at this as a profitability in the long term. And uh, I just know 37% of the time I'm going to get mining and that'll be great. That's all I need. Uh, I have a 51% chance of getting better than a common. Taking a look at our recessives here, we can see my archer that I just picked up. Uh, very excited to add him to the team. He's got a aligned R1 on main class. Uh, the thief that we're hiring has mining as his dominant. So that's the only thing that I really have to say about it. Uh, I'm, yeah, uh, I suppose these archer recessives are working out in our favor because archer mining uh, would be a fantastic draw uh, as one of our non mutations okay so hopefully our egg is ready and it looks like it is not having any issues this video that's good so far knock on wood I'm not superstitious but you know whatever we are summoning right here right let's get a little superstitious just for fun otherwise we can we just be oh first try with my freshly purchased gen zero I'm so happy look at this we got a common Dark Knight, and did we hit a miner? It would be fantastic if we had hit a miner, but I'm happy either way. Boom, it's a gardener. No big deal, very happy still. I got a mutation on my first try ever, and uh, I guess that R1 alignment's already coming in, shining for me. Uh, let's go to the tavern and take a look at what this hero may be worth. What it might be worth, not what it's guaranteed going to sell for, guys. I'm just trying to give you an idea of what I may have profited or lost on this summon. I'm not telling you that these are the actual results. Okay. So, taking a look in the tavern for a Dark Knight. Uh, I suppose we'll filter for gardening for now. Uh, five summons remaining. Gen 2 or lower, I'm not sure how many Gen 1s are available gonna get an idea for that right now it looks like the floor is actually a gen 1 which is surprising guys uh, if you're in the market for purchasing advanced summoning pairs definitely pick up the gen 1s over the gen 2s in most cases of course there's going to be circumstances where maybe one has mining uh, or something you know there could be any given combination of attributes that could supersede uh, any generalized advice I'd give you uh, here we see an uncommon for 125 I can say confidently at least 120 is the price, right? Uh, as an estimate, of course, I'm not saying it's guaranteed going to sell for that much, but at 120 Joule on our 93 Joule summoning fees, 
that is going to be a 22 jewel profit. Pretty happy with that. Uh, I think I'm very excited to own this Gen Zero. I expect to do this every three days. I had an expected value of 64 jewel on, our, on that summon attempt. I was expected to win 59% of the time. And if those numbers hold consistent, I should be able to hit my ROI on my Gen Zero in about 127 days. That sounds fantastic to me. Uh, of course, that's assuming a lot of things remain constant. The hero market is ever shifting, so my EV is going to change over time. And I'll have to actually get through all that variance, and there's a lot of variance in summoning, guys. All right, until next time, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This is, this is Faulty Poker. See you later.